So there's the cam and the timing, all that. When you take the camshafts out of these, you don't ever have to pull the, you don't ever have to pull these bolts, these side bolts. Um, really, you pull this slider up and out of here. That just pops out. It does get a little tension as you're coming out. You can see the cam move around a little bit. It does get a little tension there, a little tension there. That piece just slides out. So then to get the cam out, pull the chain up, push the cam over a little bit, drop the sprocket down a little bit, and then just work the chain off of the sprocket. Just kind of slips up and off the sprocket like that. And you pull your camshaft out. There you can kind of see, you see the little dimples that I'm talking about on it. You don't ever want to let go of the chain. You can fish it out of there, but it's kind of a pain. I usually put a wire in it, something just to hold the chain so you don't lose the chain. The little dimples that I'm talking about are, is that one right there. Let me see, let me get where I can see that. can't get it in the light very well, can I? There's one there, and then there's another one right there. There we go. So you can see that one right there, and then that one right there. That's the dimples that you line up on the head. Now with the cam, these are your lobes. These are, your, these are the two intake lobes, these are the two exhaust lobes. If you notice, these dimples are right across the, from each other, and they, they kind of line up with the exhaust lobes. But when you're putting this in, because your rockers are, are running on the back side of the cam, with both lobes down, all four lobes down, that's the compression stroke. That's how you, when you're on your compression stroke, top dead center. That's how you time everything is compression stroke top dead center. So both lobes are down because the rocker's right on the top. So both lobes are down. And then when you go to put your cam back in, you get it close. You get it close to where the timing marks are. And the chain. Now hopefully you haven't changed your top dead center, but if you have if you've changed everything around you bring this back up on top dead center. You bring, you line that back up so you know your piston and everything's up on top dead center. And then you just go ahead and set your cam back in there. And you just kind of work the chain back on the rocket. And like that. Like that. There you go. And you set it down in there where it's in there good and straight. And rock it back and forth a little bit. You check your timing marks. Now I've got a timing mark way up here and I can't see the other one so it's way off. You can see the lobes are, these are up, those are almost up so I'm way off on that. So what we do, take this off, you just slip your chain back off and this is a new timing chain too so it's, it's actually pretty tight. I've had some of them where I've just been able to slip the slip the chain over the gear and just turn the gear and slip the chain over it. This one, it's a new chain so it's not as forgiving. You can just pull it up, slip it off like that. Now you can go ahead and turn your cam the way you want it. Okay, see now the lobes are down. Right there. And we're fairly close on our timing marks. You just kind of want to line that up so that's about even with your timing mark. You just start your chain. And those teeth, and that tooth. And then you just flip it up. 
calcium up, get you a little slack in the chain. Work it back on. Like that. Check the timing works. And then go right on the money. Covers off. See, you can see timing mark there and timing mark there. Timing mark there. And the timing mark there. Now, you saw how far I had the cam off. And then just to turn it and put it back on and stab it like that. Get it that close the first time is actually pretty good. But if you don't get it that close, the first time, and you'll know if you're too soft, because one will be way high and one will be way low. You just do that again. You just pop the cam up, move over one tooth, one way or whichever direction you gotta go, slide it back in, put your cam back in, kind of rock it back and forth, check your timing mark over on the side, make sure you're still top dead center over here, which we are. Okay, when you're going back together with it, now you got your timing, everything is set. You go ahead, you put this one back in. Go ahead and put this runner back in. It just slips in there. Got a little bit of tension on it. Just pass there. A little tension right there. And drop it back in. See, that's in there like that. Make sure your cam is back down like it's supposed to be. Now you don't touch it. You go ahead and you put your your valve cover back on, your rocker box, put it all back on, make sure you got your your sealer all on it, put that all back together, then you put your tensioner back in. You don't put your tensioner back in before you put the box on because then the cam will do that and now you've got way too much tension on the, on the chain because now you're trying to pull this back against the tensioner and like I said that tensioner does not retract unless you retract it and when you put it in you actually take this off take that nut off the this cap off of it you back it off with the screwdriver then you hold the screwdriver and the cap and put it all in together at the same time put your bolts in still trying to hold the screwdriver you can back it off you can put your bolts in you can back it off but you never want to just run this down without backing this off. If you do, you'll put way too much pressure against the timing chain. So you back it off here, then once these bolts are tight, then you can, can, you can release this screwdriver and that spring tension will go against this piston, which goes against the runner on the inside there. You might be able to see it there. It pushes it right there against the timing chain then you've got proper tension on the timing chain. Like I say, you don't ever want to put that, that in before you put the top on. Because like I say, it'll do that. And then as you try to tighten this down, it's gonna, that won't retract, so it's gonna put way too much pressure on this timing chain until you retract it through there with the screwdriver. It's easier just to hold it with a screwdriver, backed off, push it in, Get the bolt snug, then you can release the screwdriver, and uh, then it'll be all right. That's where we're at for that. I'm gonna stop this for a second, and then we'll continue on pulling the head off. 